we want to demonstrate advanced channel design. I have my X, Y, Z points in the center line here. So I'm going to open up advanced channel design. There we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the X, Y, Z points of our center line file. So I'm going to tell it to file open. What kind of file? Well, I'm going to read an X, Y, Z file and it's located in my sort folder. And that sort folder has my center line points. And there they are, one through 10. Well, I want to go ahead and create a channel now using the tools in the faces menu. And the first thing I want to do is create the left and right side of my channel. So I'm going to say create a left horizontal plane. All right. Go from points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to make it 150 meters to the left. And I'll say apply. So enter the nodes with a space in between them. Next thing I want to do is make the right side of my channel. So I'm going to make a right horizontal plane off my center line. Same points, that's going to be fine. 150, and that's good. Apply, and there's that. Now we can make the side slopes using the side slope tool. When it creates a point, it puts an underscore in front of it. So I have underscore 1, underscore 2, all the way through 10 on this side. We're going to make a left slope off of those. So underscore 1, space, underscore 2, 3, whoops, ah. underscore 4, underscore 5, underscore 6, underscore 7, underscore 8, underscore 9, underscore 10. I'm going to make a 5 to 1 side slope. We're going to bring it up to the chart datum, 0 on the left-hand side. If I wanted to go above the chart datum, since we're in depth, that's a minus 2 for 2 meters above. And it's gone ahead and created the left slope. If we look at the 3D, what we have so far, okay, page up exaggerates the vertical. So that's what we have so far on our channel. Okay, We're going to go ahead now and do the right-hand side. That's underscore 11 through 20. That will take me a second. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Each one with a space between them. I'm going to do a five to one here. Let's bring this up to zero and apply. Now this has this tricky little corner here where it would have intersected if it just had done a, a basic five to one. So it finds out where they intersect the two slopes, creates that underscore thirty-seven, brings it bisector out of there. So the geometry is just perfect going around that corner. So if we look at a detail here, page up, exaggerate the vertical, you can see we have our channel. All right, to save that, we're just going to save it. I'm just going to overwrite uh, channel, channel.chn, stored in the project folder. That'll then show up here under channels. So if I have channel, there's our result.